Hey, what's going on guys and come back to my channel. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing some about something that isn't really talked about in the, in the community. Now, you may have guessed that what I'm about to say, but you also have seen the title. So, I'm talking about Dynamic Paint. So now, Dynamic Paint is a feature that can be used to create very unique animations and very uh, unusual looking animations that uh, you may need in some case scenarios. Now, this can be used to create many organic objects as well. So, we'll just get to that in, in a second. So let's get started with the tutorial. First of all, let's just jump, jump into the Blender window. Now I have my screencaster keys available here, and so you can see every button I press. So this should this should help you out a lot. So now for this demonstration, I'll be just adding a Suzanne monkey. Oh, and one more thing that this isn't a tutorial, a beginner friendly tutorial. So if you don't know anything about Blender and you don't know anything about the UI and stuff like that, so make sure to check out my uh, Blender course that I have created. Link will be down in the description or at the top of the uh, i card. Now coming back to the tutorial, you now for the de for the demonstration, I'll be just adding in a monkey and then giving a subdivision level of uh, three. I would say so you can just get a nice topology and a pretty uh, pretty dense model. So you'd say it not a, it is it isn't as dense as uh, uh, it isn't that high poly, but you get the point. So now we'll just shade it smooth and then we are, we are at the 100th frame and now I've also set my timeline and timeline to 230 frames so just do that and I'll explain it that why did I do that uh, later on. So we are at the 100th frame we'll just add in a circle and let's just position it so that it almost covers the uh, whole monkey. It doesn't need to be perfect of course but uh, try to match it as, uh, as greatly as possible. So now what we can do is just scale down, delete the spaces and now screw extrude it on the z-axis. Now as you can see it is overlapping it if you look at it from this side but, but it doesn't have to intersect. So if it is intersecting just try to scale it up or down to get, so till you get the right result. Now once you have this you'll just uh, apply the level, two level, second level of subdivision surface modifier and let's just apply it and just shade it, shade it smooth. Now we have also uh, already set the keyframe over here at the 100 frame. Now we'll just go back to the first frame. Let's uh, go move it uh, downwards and then scale it downwards. And yeah, I think this works fine. Now we'll just check if there is there are any intersections. One thing I forgot to do is move it uh, a bit on the y-axis so we don't get any in more intersections. Now as you can see, the ears are intersecting, so we can just scale it. Till it is in. Now, I, I, in my opinion, this looks perfect. Now, what we can do is go back to the first frame, move it downwards, scale it, and yeah, I think this should be fine. Yeah, so this is perfect. Now, we can go over to the 200 frame and we can move it on the z axis and then scale it down. So, we have a kind of, I think this should be scaled down a bit more, kind of like this. So we have kind of a uh, animation or a ring going uh, over the monkey. As you can see here, we don't have any intersections, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we'll just shade it smooth. And what we'll do is duplicate this and move these frames 30 frames ahead. Uh, yes, sorry. Now we'll just duplicate it on the just like this we duplicate it and then move the keyframes not the model itself just the keyframes and uh, uh, the 30 frames 30 frames forward so if we just play this animation back as you can see we have two rings which uh, uh, and the last uh, ring is following the first one so once we have all of these things covered let's get to the fun part select the monkey go to the physics physics property and then select dynamic paint add canvas and set the paint to waves uh, to sorry to weight not weight uh, not waves not displaced not paint just only weight otherwise it won't work now we'll just click this plus, plus icon so we can get a vertex group created for us and now vertex group is the most important part for this uh, tutorial so make sure that you click this as this is the most vital part now we'll select the first frame uh, first uh, sorry yes first uh, ring Select like dynamic paint, dynamic paint, set it to brush, add brush, and then set it to uh, proximity. Not uh, not anything else, just proximity. Now I think we are pretty much done. And just for the last uh, ring, what we'll do is select dynamic paint again, 
set it to brush add brush and then we'll set uh, everything to the same but except uh, uh, we'll also turn in turn on the erase paint option so if we just uh, select this uh, by and go into the weight weight paint mode and then just view it as you can see here we have a bit of a weight paint going on uh, this is quite laggy now as you can see here we, uh, once the top part uh, touches it uh, the bottom one clears it but as you can see it isn't that uh, efficient and it doesn't clear it uh, clear all of it so to just fix that let's just go over to the object mode and we can just uh, scale, adjust the i think it's from this uh, let me just check i forgot yes it's from this you can just scale the influence and uh, and change this until you get the right result but i think for my it just looks super right and i am i think we also need a uh, another set of subdivision so let's just apply that yeah so i think this is the more type of model we want of course this is pretty dense so i think so i'm just trying to get the best results if you just go to the weight paint mode again now it is quite laggy as you can see and let's just uh, turn down the influence i think this is quite too much we can just uh, they, we can just adjust the distance I think 0.6 should be fine and now if you just go back now we will just have to do some testing your, uh, your, you will have to do some testing yourself we just play it again so I've gotten something that I like so I think I would just stick with that Maybe I'll just uh, increase this to uh, I think 1.3 should be fine. Now once you have this covered, now this is pretty much the basics. Now you can uh, apply any modifier that requires a vertex. Like uh, let's just show, uh, let me show an example. If we just apply an A, uh, I'll see a uh, displace. Uh, sorry, not on this, but on the monkey. So make sure the monkey is selected. If you just select uh, displace, as you can see, <laughs> it, it looks a bit more funky. Now what you can do is I create, I click on new go over here and let's just select clouds i think and let's just uh, play with the settings until you are uh, until you, you like something now i think i uh, this is the best i could go for and you can say it looks like, it looks like fried chicken <laughs> to be honest but uh, what we can do is go over here and select this vertex group so now if you play our animation back which it may take a while and oh you can already see something has changed you can see that there's a texture uh, three texture applying on the model it is not as uh, prominent as you would want uh, so we can just increase the strength you can uh, what about two less yeah i think this is pretty pretty better i think we can even crank this up to 2.5 and it will look perfect yeah just like this now if we just wait for it to load or <laughs> for the animation to run yeah so th i think this is pretty much just complete and uh, i have uh, spared up the video for you so you can see it there how it looks as an animation so yeah so th this is basically what is uh, the basics for the uh, displace uh, for, so for the dynamic paint you can create pretty cool effects for using this and you can even apply different materials for it but we won't be getting it to it uh, in this video as i just wanted to cover up the basics and not go very advanced so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i'll see you around later see ya